Good afternoon and greetings from South Georgia, USA to the entire world. This is a baking pan. As you can see, we are going to have barbecued golf clubs for dinner. Now, I told um, several days ago that I had found a vintage set of Ping I-3 orange dot golf clubs, and I got them today, and I wanted to show you them. Original handle, original grips, not even a hint of being used the original plastic wrapper thing is on it nowhere whatsoever and I am going or we are going over to the golf course in a little bit and try out these new clubs well I told you I'd show them to you and there they are now the subject right now is another use for mulberry leaves. Now, not to many, I mean, we already know the mulberry fruit is very good, but we found out that mulberry leaves make a wonderful tea. And so we stripped some mulberry leaves off a while ago, uh, excess, boiled them down, and and boil them down into a tea and here it is right here now that is about a double handful of leaves this much right here now we found another use for them you can take these leaves now that you've made your tea with them and spread them out on your cookie sheet now, you want to wash your mulberry leaves before you boil them because environmental pollutants, you know, but birds love mulberries and birds love mulberry trees and birds poop. And so it's not unusual to find a place, uh, especially during the fruiting season, which is not right now, where the mulberry, where the bird's poop has landed on the... Okay, so you just spread that out on your cookie sheet, put that in the sun, and a couple of hours later, it will be a crispy crisp. Now I'm going to show you the use of it. Here's some that we did yesterday. These were dried out. And just hand crushed. Those are dried out. So we take those now. This one here is not quite dry, so we'll just put it in there. And you just crush them up fine in your hand. And let me show you what we do with them. So you just take them like this. And crush it up. The smell test. Very nice smell. That one right there. Of course you could put them in a blender and really crush them up. They'd be dry. And look what we have here. This is our latest bitty crop from the incubator. And this is what we found out. 
these bitties love this little bit of green. And I'm quite sure that it will be good for them and give them something that they will not get any other way. Now we had a hen sit on a nest out in the shop the other day. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, she hatched off six. And we already know that hens around the yard, when they have these little bitties running around behind them, that many times the little bitties don't make it. So we grabbed up five of them. We got lucky and grabbed them up and let her have one. And they can't count. So they're still happy with their one bitty. And this little one right here is going to survive. There we go, little fella. And now they have that green stuff to peck at. And get a little nutrition. So that's just a little, another use of the mulberry leaves. So you can avoid, or you can supplement your chicken feed or your bitty feed that way. And probably, I'm guessing, I don't have any proof of it, but that, that will definitely give them a boost in life. Alright, we're heading to the golf course now. And we want to give thanks to our Father in Heaven for all of the blessings that He has given us and the life that He has given us. Our life. And we want to thank Him for sending His Son, Jesus Christ, to die, to shed His innocent blood to cover our sins so that we who believe might be saved and enter the kingdom of heaven in another dimension when we die, if we put our trust in Jesus. Thank you for watching.